Hey everyone, Matt from soundrolling.com and today I'm just going to talk through the Android Tentacle app just because I finally got the right connector. A uh, bit of a pain in the ass to find to be honest, but I bought a load of them so um, here's a link ding, that you'll uh, be able to get them on. And um, yeah, so it's connected, it also charges from your phone so if you leave it plugged in it's definitely going to drain your battery. But let's uh, kind of go through it, I guess. So when we plug it straight in it'll automatically open up um, after the first time, it'll say, do you want to always connect or open this application when you connect this device? Um, and then we can see here that we can set to system time, so I can set it to the time of my phone. And this is really good because then if you're uh, connecting, or you only have, for instance, you're shooting on an Alexa and you have like a sound devices thing, then you can only use one thing and connect both. Um, otherwise, do whatever, connect it to anything. Uh, you can obviously rename the device. Um, seeing this on my terribly cracked screen is not very good, but um, you can rename the device if you like So you could call this one 24p or one that you use all the time. You can see the battery and it's charging at the moment um, Output volume you can change and you can also enable mic So for instance if you plug into a DSLR and it realizes that it's a different type of level that it needs to be Then it will change itself magically frame rate always really good to change these because the right frame rate gives you the right time code um, and then you can have auto power off, so if it's not receiving a signal or it's not um, getting anything that it's responding to when it's giving a signal, it'll turn off after 2, 4, 8 or 12 hours. Um, good to do a bit longer if people turn off over lunch or if you have, for instance, multiple um, cameras that you're shooting on and they're not always being in use, maybe you want to have the 12 hour option. Um, you can have user bits, uh, mine is just the date all the time. You can do other user bits, although I need to do and look into more about user bits um, just because maybe they're useful. I'm not sure. I never tend to use them. So um, I'll do another article on that, another video on that, when I find out more. Um, and take over user bits of external source. So if there's an external source of user bits, you can copy that as well. So that's basically the app. Um, so yeah, so if you have any questions, thoughts, theories, um, love to hear them. So, until next time, see you later. And I suppose I should always say that you can give this a thumbs up if you want more people to see this video. You can always subscribe right here. And again, here's the link for those cables. So, I've been Matt Price, and I'll see you later.